Hey guys, so remember I was telling you that I want to try different fruits um, from Japan and Japan markets. So one of the things is um, like true ramen. And um, so I got the recipes uh, from them and I bought their, it's called black oil, black pepper oil uh, garlic ramen, which I thought it was unique. And in here, um, I put a uh, tofu. I have a uh, boiled egg here, and then I have uh, chopped scallions and um, cilantro and regular onions. So I just boiled that together. Um, I'm gonna eat the ramen with the um, chopsticks. <laughs> I know this is a kid spoon, but um, it's the I feel like the bigger spoons that they have that kind of look like a little ladle. They're too big for me, so I like this style. And then I have you know, just a regular drink. This is by Pure Leaf. It's the cherry hibiscus. So and it's uh, caffeine free. I love this one. I should have had a Japanese drink as well but I don't have one currently. So we're just trying the ramen today. So let's see how this goes. This is hot, so I have to be careful. It smells delicious. Wow. Wow, that's really good. So, um, what I did, because I know the ramen is like really high in sodium, and I don't really like that much salt in my food. I, I only used half the packet of the um, of the soup base, but I did use all the um, the the black oil that it came with. It almost looked like a really thick version of like soy sauce. Wow, this is really good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try I'm dropping noodles all over the place. Sorry, I'll clean that up later. I'm gonna try the tofu. So I tried the tofu before I put I I put it in the um the tofu before I put it into the soup, and it really had no flavor, at least to me, because there's like hardly any sodium or anything in it. This one it's a soybean base and this one is um there's different consistencies which i never knew when i went to the market they had soft medium i actually got because i'm not i don't like really soft textures so i got extra firm so let's see how this goes wow i like that that's a completely different flavor now that it's like absorbed the flavor of the um of the soup mm -hmm. and i love eggs so i know i'm gonna love the egg because i do a lot of like uh egg drop soup or even when like i'm not feeling well if i don't want to have like chicken i, I drop a an egg in it mm -hmm. so i'm gonna cut it open with the spoon so like that you can see what it looks like in the inside You can see, I'm going to bring it close. Uh, there it goes. So the egg wasn't completely cooked all the way because that's how I like it. I like it that the just the bit of the center, not the whole thing is runny. That I don't like. So you can see that the center is just a bit like underdone, but the rest of it is completely cooked. Let me try the broth. Yeah, I like the fact that it's not too salty. I, I definitely, I'm glad I went very light-handed with the soup base. Because if I would have put the whole thing in there, it would have been, to me, for my liking, it would have been too salty. Oh, yeah, this is amazing. Guys, definitely give this a try. I'm going to throw up a photo of what the, um... Of what the packaging looks like so you guys can definitely try this mm -hmm. a definite win because i feel like when you're spelling first i feel like when you try ramen just like regular ramen in the supermarket you have like chicken flavor shrimp flavor 
It's like really, really basic flavors. But when you go to um, like the Asian markets, there's so many varieties of flavors. I even found because I have a like um, I go I have like a Google Translate that I take a photo of um, or I hover over with my camera over the um, the wording because a lot of times everything either the tr I realize the translation doesn't translate well into English or some of them don't have any English translation at all so I feel like this helps me when I go to the market because sometimes when I go to the market in Flushing sometimes I don't find people that speak English so they're looking at me like a little confused I almost took a ramen that I thought was it looked like a unique style of beef but thank God I had um, I was able to translate it and it was actually lung flavor I don't know the lung of what animal but then when I looked at it then I realized it was kind of, it I thought it was beef but when I looked at the shape of it then I realized I was like oh <laughs> so like I said you could find really unique flavors this one I've, I've never seen this uh, flavor of ramen in my supermarket um what's another they have like um uh, it's they have like squid flavors. I mean all types things that are unique I feel like if you want to try something new Go out and have an adventure. I mean, we're still like in this pandemic that everything isn't open and in my house I've cooked all styles and varieties of food and it's nice sometimes that you know You could be right in the comfort of your own home trying things that are that are new so wherever you guys are at you know, try something new, have an adventure at home, okay? Um, thanks for watching my channel and please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Make sure you give me a little heart. Bye guys.